Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Flawless Run where I'm trying to showcase a legendary Iron Man Vanilla with uh, just how to beat uh, the game, uh, the normal War of the Chosen with hopefully getting all of the missions flawless, zero death and uh, no lost missions. Time for the Eastern US Retaliation Mission. At the end of every first month there is a Retaliation Mission and most of the legendary Iron Man runs uh, are going to fail due to this legendary, uh, due to this first Retaliation Mission. Oftentimes you're fighting against the Assassin and I'm hearing a lot of uh, posts on Reddit just finding it uh, absolutely impossible to win this mission but also the moment that this mission isn't going uh, well people are giving up. Here's the thing, what you should uh, do if you do not ace this mission. The first uh, time that you're going to lose someone specific against fighting against the assassin, just pick up the person. The uh, All of uh, the chosens have an innate ability to not kill on shots, but uh, rather bleed uh, people out. So it's always bleed out for them. Just accept that. Uh, pick up your soldier and GTFO lose the mission there is not much uh, negativity that comes out of it you're going to lose a bit of income and there is maybe a bruising to your ego but other than that not much is happening so that's what I would um, seriously consider in case of uh, losing the miss mission of course we're not going to go in with a mindset of lo losing the mission instead we're going to go in with a mindset of kicking ass and that's what's going to happen. Ghost and Roro have bonded. Lyrical and Enders are here as well. Enders is going to be tired, so I have decided uh, I want the power right now because this is a difficult mission and I don't want uh, to have any rookie experiments. I want to flawless this mission, so <coughs> we're taking Enders up. Let's go, boys. Time to recklessly jump out of uh, the Sky Ranger and we all need to rescue six civilians so that's really what our job is going to be these two are working together like a well-oiled machine as long as we keep them close to each other up they'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow I go where I need it and what we're trying to do is get close and rescue a couple of these guys before anything happens. The rest is carefully moving forward. We're taking the high ground soon, but for now, let's just overwatch, except that a Chosen is coming up and it is the classical assassin so many times uh, before. Immune to melee damage, she does not uh, trigger overwatch reactions, but she's very brittle <coughs> and she hates reapers. Okay. Close combat. Chosen assassin is moving near your position. Stay on guard, people. Will you sacrifice all of them to save yourself? Well, 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 we got a pack of two here. We're going to trigger that pack right away. Bring it on. Unfortunately, these guys will likely hide behind the trees. Problem with hiding behind the trees is conventional grenades do not fully remove tree, <coughs> tree stumps. But they are at least reducing it to half cover and it's some damage on top of it, so not too bad. Lyrical moves up, half cover, free shot onto the guy that is actually threatening. And then Enders. Enders. Enders, my boy. Why uh, do you not have any great 
position. <coughs> well, this would let us be in a flanked position. This would let us be completely in the open, so... Unfortunately, Andrus is in a tough spot. Remote start doesn't really change much here. All I want is to go uh, to go a little bit closer to uh, uh, that uh, guy. This looks like a reckless move. It isn't. There is a lot of uh, vision blocking here. Unfortunately, my plan of using that to my advantage is sort of jeopardized by the inability to uh, lob a grenade there. That's really unfortunate. Full cover it is, and we could end that guy, but I much rather would like to get all the way up here. It would seem admin has begun deploying their so-called priests <coughs> One of my viewers uh, discussed with me whether you can just move close and through the circle of these guys without standing there. I hope you have just seen that that uh, is not the case. I have moved through the circle of the civilian here by literally just moving close here and it hadn't had any impact. Uh, he is not saved. Good. Time to teach them a lesson. Blade Master, melee focus, lots of damage. She started over here, so she could already be at any of these locations. Gotta be really careful here. If you end within a reasonable distance, it will still work out. Good, and now we want to take the high ground. There now. Sticking together to not be, uh, to not be uh, overrun by the Chosen. And these guys will potentially kill one of the, uh, one of, uh, the civilians. Okay, cool. We found out where the Chosen is located. That's not bad. Great remote start uh, possibility. This here could be a faceless one bit of a risky maneuver but I think we're okay so in the meantime what do we want to do we want to run over here take high ground row row definitely takes the high ground already and we're moving over here that's good enough for now Patience. 
All right, double kill. An injury. Now a sniper, of course, would be an absolute gem. <coughs> but we do uh, take the next best thing, which is Roro on high ground with a big fat minigun. There we go. Take high ground and get ready. Brace for impact, as they say. Reload. Hit this guy. Nice. Well done. <coughs> okay. Next up. High ground. Next up. Reload. Hit. I am at your service. Go on, run. Okay, the chosen is somewhere here. <clears throat> Stay next to the car. Yep, yeah, oh, oh fa <coughs> fantastic. She doesn't even know how bad her decision is. Not yet. Reloads, because it doesn't cost anything. And... Engage her. She does not trigger overwatch shots, that's a bit of a problem. So any form of overwatch that we're doing is pointless. Nonetheless, there might be other um, enemies that trigger overwatch. She doesn't know where we're coming from at this point. Move up closer to her. But not quite yet. Rolling. Overwatch uh, wouldn't work. We still have teamwork. She tries to vanish, but she's going to be spotted out soon. Pretty sure she's somewhere here. <coughs> I go where you tell me. The forces of XCOM are legendary for their prowess in battle. Their favorite commander, even more so. Okay. 
So it's a bit experience from my end uh, of knowing how, how and where she would use her wind ability. <clears throat> we definitely want teamwork and we want to get as close as possible to her. So a couple of things here. She's not immune to explosions. That's a hundred percent chance to hit her, which isn't too bad. Anders, in a very nuanced fashion, moves in for 100% hit shotgun to the face. <coughs> and I think that was a kill. Yep, else was uh, the last faceless one wouldn't have shown his uh, ugly face. Yeah, yeah, blah blah. Shut up, assassin, and accept your loss. We showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. Oh no, oh no, oh, it's enough damage to kill it, right? Yeah, that was a small mistake. Could have uh, killed. The, the pr problem is with the explosion, we're getting one less corpse, and they are important for mimic beacons later. Not the absolute end of the world, but unnecessary. Just wanted to trigger him, to be honest. Good, we're getting Shredder, which is great. We still got two faces corpses. Uh, lucky there. And your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today. And despite being tired, Enders somehow just pulled it together and actually is just tired at this point. No shaken. Okay. Very nice. We've confirmed with our resistance contacts that they're tracking the chosen we just fought. Apparently it's already laid claim to some nearby territory. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me. Good. We're continuing to get more soldiers great we can now go for an infirmary which isn't bad before we do anything um, before we do anything I think we're going for hybrid materials and then magnetic weapons I like the idea of experimental weapons because some of them are really, really good, but 10 days at the moment is a bit too much. We're just going to get all of the quick research out of the way and then it is magnetic weapon rush. Good. We're playing standard, absolute vanilla, how you should approach it. So your first months at this point should be fine. You're looking at uh, the dark events, and since these are permanent dark events, you don't want uh, to let them go through. This year is bad lightning reflexes we are trying to prevent from happening. Good, let's take double, uh, double um, re uh, sources as a reward. And uh, getting a Templar faction hero would absolutely be fantastic, but we don't have a sergeant yet, which means the only thing that we really can do is locate a new faction, put a rookie here and another rookie and uh, just call it a day. Very nice. I am considering, by the way, <coughs> Be gone for a few days, but this to do a resistance communication first uh, we just we're, we haven't lost the day where we can still do it but I want to expand in month number two want to get here and here so we rather uh, do that right now 
we'll have to find the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Hello, Commander. Work is well good. Underway. Very good. Let's uh, get some supplies for us. Commander, we've already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. However, we can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. There could be more supplies here, or we're getting more intel. Either way is fine. At the moment, we still need supplies, <coughs> which is why I'm uh, focusing on that. Good. In terms of power, uh, we have a third option ready for us, for we need to build power. And um, if you wanted to go for a laboratory, the right order would be to actually start with it, because it takes a long day to a uh, long time to build. The infirmary is not a bad uh, choice at this point as well and um, the proving grounds would not be a bad choice either i'll go for training center because i think it's a gr uh, great building so we're going to do that uh, right away but uh, it can build by itself whilst we are excavating make the most out of uh, the resource that we have available and this is just the most efficient start excavate 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 and let the buildings build by themselves Our next operation will put us right in the middle of Chosen. good lighting reflexes we were lucky here the scientist is good and undercover civilian present in the combat zone can uh, be contacted for additional rewards that's not bad either we still have time um, in this mission, so might as well go for uh, go for it. The first few missions are so fast that they are actually feeling more like little snacks than uh, full-blown missions. So we want to go with a grenadier. We want to go with a specialist. An appropriate Murphy makes a return. And unfortunately, we do not yet have another ranger or frontline operative. Uh, mission without a Reaper, not great, but it is what it is. We're instead getting a second Grenadier. Just uh, the ability to remove cover and deal damage plus have a heavy weapon. Um, all of that is very attractive to me. that old world rifle and i think we got everything we could theoretically build uh, some more items medkit isn't too bad either but i rather keep our supplies for uh, for later so let's launch the mission get the scientist and uh, start month two strong with another scientist all right, <clears throat> let's start this mission. So we need to go all the way there and we only have four turns. That's of course not great. Position confirmed. Problem with the network separation missions is always you're ending up rushing. Yeah, there is a network transmitter, that's good. You're ending up severely rushing the objectives because you're always short on time. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's a question, do we want to give up our... <coughs> do we want to give up our concealment basically to get that one thing up there. Will do. Hmm. Not sure yet. Move, move, move. Stepping off. 
Oh wait, there's another one. Interesting. Wait, what? Why is that? Huh? The one upstairs not working? Huh. Good. Well, we have one downstairs. Fair enough. I think what we would want to do is open this here and take a look. Okay, we got one more. Yeah, that's a decent enough start. There might be enemies here. Just might be it's always careful. Okay. And as a sniper. Let's move oh, over oh. here. Good. We're giving up our concealment. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily in exchange delayed. for more time. Oh, look at you. Well, that might have been the right decision, because we would have been spotted out anyways. Okay, listen, here's the deal. I need to use a grenade. Mainly because I don't want to go and flank. Uh, going and flanking these guys would mean we're moving backwards and that is not acceptable. On the other hand, what's a poor grenade? Not a very valuable one. Good old 90% shot that missed. Wouldn't be an XCOM campaign if that wouldn't happen. Well, let's just grab the loot if we're anyways here. Not great, but okay. Uh, that, that costed us a, a full turn. Down to two. Does the trigger? No. Does it give us anything? No need to ask twice. On the move. Good copy. Moving on target. Moving up. <coughs> Reloading. Overwatch. And our timer really takes down. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Well, we at least got some transmitters going for us. Headed there now. I don't know where all of the other transmitters are coming from, but whatever. Position confirmed. Can use some ammo over here. Moving out. Over all right. If you shoot like that, of, uh, if you hold your gun like that, of course you're going to miss. That was the worst uh, gun uh, position that I've seen in a while. On my way. 
Moving up. Take this. Remove cover. Over. Sixty percent isn't bad <clears throat> to finish this guy. <clears throat> Very good. Enemy eliminated. Which neatly brings us to the other trooper. Enemies down. Come all out. Which then again brings us into a cover position where we flank the guy. Oh, and that was a good cleanup. Toss me some ammo. It's killing time. Moving to designated coordinates. Pushing forward, moving up. Buy us that extra time that we need. And yeah, let's just move over, hurry up, reload where needed, and overwatch with A5. Turn we can hack. That gives us another turn. That's what I was looking for. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going to get, Commander. On it. One more alien pack somewhere. Moving to position. Fabulous. The four charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Confirmed. Will do. Location confirmed. Good. Overwatch. And Overwatch. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was about to say the last tech might be right there. I positioned us in a way where that was the most likely position where they were coming from. That's a kill and cover removal. Grenadiers are great at the beginning of uh, the game. Get this guy down. Yeah, there we go. Kill confirmed. And then we're going to play it really safe. Which is... Pick this guy up. 37 supplies, that's great. And then pick this guy up. Another 37 supplies, even better. And then... 
100% kill. Good. Dum dum dum. Very good. Inappropriate Murphy takes long watch, and we're going right into the sniper uh, specialization. And we got plenty. 74 uh, supplies is uh, great. Stock is good. Counter the lightning, uh, the lightning reflex uh, dark event. And we also got a scientist, so that is a super strong. Uh, super strong start. Yeah, it's all good. Don't, please, don't be too afraid. We got it under control, Bradford. We have made a number. Good. Resistance communications finally done. Great. We got another breakthrough for plus one damage on sniper rifles. We're going to, of course, do that. Uh, I personally like breakthroughs, but please be aware that that, of course, makes the game more difficult uh, for you whilst you're waiting for other stuff to happen. We can leave the supplies here as is. We got 13 days for a uh, for the drop, which means depending on how quick we can make contact, we might be able to make contact with both of the regions. We have enough intel. That's why I wanted to prioritize it and be a little bit quick about it good got another uh, grenadier which isn't too bad but we're pretty sure we need more rangers at this point so let's do that Good, we got two promotions out of it and a skirmisher. Cool. Cool. Good, resistance rings almost done. I'm just shortly finishing that because we can then go on to the next mission and that'll be more efficient. And we got two rookies. Conrad Wolf here who just got promoted to yet another Grenadier. Fantastic. Conrad, congratulations. He doesn't look too excited about it. And uh, Morose being promoted to a specialist. Congratulations to that. He takes it rather with a cool demeanor. And uh, that's okay. So, solid set of uh, soldiers at this point. A broad roster. Advance officers might be more resourceful than your average trooper. I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tiger. And we're continuing our little escapades. Good, that's not bad. Um, the raid will give us plenty of material, as well as uh, the first alloys and uh, maybe some malarium on top of it, which is also good. It's a non-timed uh, mission. We will do that uh, the next time though, for now. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.